The next thing to consider when optimizing your server is the robots.txt file. The robots.txt file guides the search engine bots on how to best interact when indexing your content. But it should be understood that search engines are greedy by design, especially when it comes to indexing quality content. Unless you provide guidelines, they will assume they can crawl whatever you have. To help out, I've created a quick and dirty guide on several commands you can use for your own robots.txt file. The first and easiest option is to allow everything to be searched. By having an asterisk in the user agent field, we are in essence saying that this rule applies to any bot coming to the site. By leaving disallow blank, we are also telling the bots that there isn't anything we want them to consider. This actually is an unnecessary command, since if you decide not to have a robots.txt file, the search engines will naturally just assume this. If for whatever reason you don't want your domain to be crawled, then adding a disallow with just a slash will do the trick. Obviously, by doing this, you are telling the search engines that you don't want to be found in their search index. So be sure you want to do this before adding it to your robots.txt file. I've seen SEO companies actually use this command when a client stops paying. Definitely not the most ethical thing to do, but very, very effective in not having a website found in the main search engines. Often, there are parts of a website that people do not need to find in the search engines. An application for this is a members-only area or a digital product that can be downloaded from the site. It is a common trick to do a search on a digital product that a website is selling and find on the server where you can directly access and download the product. Not only would it be important to block search engines from crawling pages like this, but also password protecting the page or folder. It's important to do this for two reasons. First, a robots.txt file is not an absolute mandate. Many bots will ignore a disallow request and crawl all the pages on your site. The second reason and the most important reason you should password protect sensitive information is that a robots.txt file can be accessed by anyone. The robots.txt file can be found at the root of the domain, and all anyone has to do is type your domain forward slash robots.txt and they can view what you are asking bots not to crawl. If these areas are unprotected, then again they have easy access to these files. Next is blocking specific bots. As you can see in the user agent section of this example, I have listed the Google bot instead of just putting an asterisk. I am singling out Google and telling the bot to not go to folder 1. Keep in mind that this command doesn't stop other search engines from folder 1. You could easily swap out Google bot for Bing bot or Slurp, which is Yahoo's search bot. To block the search bots from crawling any URLs that indicate a question mark, you would use this command. You can use the dollar sign to inform the bots to match the end of the string. This example is one I use in HerbalDoc. For the site, I use the query string part of the URLs solely for session IDs, and so I use the command of forward slash asterisk question mark to exclude all URLs that contain the dynamic parameters to ensure that search bots are not crawling duplicate pages. However, I also want the search bots to crawl all URLs that end with a question mark. In fact, here's how HerbalDoc's robot.txt file looks. You can see that in addition to the last example I just gave, that I am also blocking several WP folders. Two of these folders, the WP-admin and the WP-includes, are administrative folders that if hacked could cause a lot of issues with HerbalDoc. The third folder is where all the sites, images, and uploads are. This folder is debatable on whether it should be crawled or not. If crawled, a lot of HerbalDoc's images will be found in the search engine's image search. Obviously, this will send some traffic to HerbalDoc, but from past experiences, I've found that this traffic really doesn't convert, so I disallow the search bots from crawling this folder. 